In this problem, we are working with inscribed angles and the, the lengths of arcs that they intercept. We are being told that IK is a diameter of the circle. So let me just draw that in, highlight that. So this is a diameter. What that means is that this side of the circle is 180 degrees, and this side of the circle is 180 degrees. So that's our first measurement of arc that we can deduce from the information we're given. So I'm just going to label that. So 180 and 180. Next, it says, suppose that uh, the arc JK is 134. So from J to K is 134. And angle KJL, so that's this angle right here, is 67 degrees. And we want to find the following. Let me uh, highlight the things that we want to find in yellow. So we want to find angle IJL. So IJL is angle right here. And I guess that's hard to see. Maybe that's better. And then angle, angle IKJ, that's this angle right here. OK. So we want to find those angles. They correspond to these arcs, so this arc and this arc. So those two little pieces is what we want to find. All right, so there is some other information that we can fill in. This 67 degree angle right here cuts off this arc. So that arc is 2 times 67 because uh, an inscribed angle, one that starts from the opposite side of the circle, uh, cuts off twice as much. Now, this little yellow piece is, if we add that to the 134, it's got to add up to 180. So we know this little yellow piece is 180 minus 134. So that's 46. And we've got the same relationship going on over here. This part is 134, so this part must be 46. Now, these two arcs are the ones that correspond to the two angles we're looking for. These are inscribed angles, so this arc is twice as long as the angle is big. So these two angles are each going to be half of 46, or 23. So 23 there, and 23 there. So the answer for both of these is 23 degrees. And that is a little bit of work with inscribed angles.